Hello, we're going to teach you how to take a full mouth set of radiographs and Pam is an expert and she'll be demonstrating. Remember, a radiograph is not just a radiograph. It's got to be diagnostic. If it's not diagnostic, it's a waste of time. If it's overlapped, if the angles aren't right, you're, you're wasting your time. So we're going to show you how to take diagnostic periapical and bite wing radiographs. So what are you doing first here, Pam? I'm taking wisdom teeth first. So I don't set this the normal way. I adjust it halfway back off the angle to take the wisdom tooth picture. What are the hardest radiograph, periapical radiographs to take? Wisdom Just teeth see. and cuspids, the cuspid bicuspid area? The corners of the cuspid. Yeah, the corners, those are the trick and wisdom teeth, which is all the way back at the the back of the mouth. And then you'll show them how to use the cotton tip applicator to yes. break the contacts. Remember, if you can't break the contacts in at least one radiograph of every tooth, you can't see if there's interproximal decay. I break off a cotton tip applicator and have them bite on the cotton tip part. In the interproximal part. The main thing of a bracket and taking a wisdom tooth is you're going to offset the uh, monitor itself back off of your bracket that holds halfway over to do the wisdom tooth picture. And then you want to parallel your, your frame with the paralleling of the teeth. Now what if you have a patient that's a gagger? Spray the back of the palate with this hurricane topical spray. A psychologist told me this the other day, if you'll do your thumbs like this. I've been doing it lately and it works. So uh, the patient says it works. And then have them breathe through their nose, not through their mouth. And you want this parallel with the teeth. And you want it about a finger distance from the tooth. Bite down bow. Moved it back, so this yes. has to go back. And we see that we have no wisdom tooth back there. Okay. Take your next radiograph of your bicuspid area. So now you're trying to get the bicuspids in the first molar with the second one, right? You want to put, I'd say, that far from your tooth, parallel your frame, bite down bow. And you want to come as far forward as you can to get your bicuspids in there. Great. And see the thing that makes this effective, she's perfectly parallel with the contact, so you can see if there's interproximal decay. If these are overlapped, what would you do if you, this was overlapped and you wanted to get a straight through contact between the bicuspids, Pam? I would break a cotton tip applicator, break it off about that much, have the patient bite, bite down bow, and see. put it right in the contact right where that contact biting, is. So you know the cutter. angle, mark your midline here. My barrier. Now open bow. And line up your bite down. See, so that cotton tip applicator is in the interproximal contact, that little piece, and leave it in there. And that tells you the angle of this bar, the way this needs to be shooting through to break that contact perfectly. Now, I haven't taken a radiograph in probably 40 years. Pam's been taking full mouth sets of radiographs for what, 45 plus years? So she is a world expert. So whenever you're taking the sequence, What's the order of radiographs? Upper right, lower left, upper left. PAs first. Yes, PAs and first. Then the bite wings last. Back, and then anterior, upper and lower, PAs, and then bite wings. So all PAs first, all PAs and first. then bite wings. Okay, so we've taken the upper right wisdom tooth, then the upper right first molar and bicuspids. On the lower left, molar, wisdom tooth area. Okay. And I've moved your bracket back again. The holder for the upper right goes with the lower left. Now you're paralleling the bracket with their lower teeth. Take a bite. There we go. Breathe Take a deep breath nose. and hold it. Breathe now just breathe through your nose and hold it. 
then you line up your cone again. Now that one turned out perfect. Nobody takes wisdom teeth like Pam. Now you gotta adjust your bracket, your monitor back with your bracket. It's time to take the next molar shot. Okay, open for me. Again, line up your bracket with your teeth and bite down bow. Good, hold it. Take a deep breath and hold it. See how the interproximal contact with a PA, what are you wanting? You want to see the, the apexes of the roots. And if you can get the interproximal contacts, that's perfect. So these are perfect radiographs. I come up as far as I can with my bracket where the arch starts. And then you, wherever that curve is, you turn the bracket to your left just a little bit. And bite down bow. Bite. Hold it right there. Don't move. So they've really got to relax their tongue, don't they? Perfect. Again, so you can see the apexes of the bicuspids. See the middle foramen, interproximal contact. Those are perfect. So upper right and lower left use the same holder. And I'll still use the same holder. I've just got to turn it around. you got to turn around. And then lower right, upper left you don't have to change the position of the holder. Now we're going to move the bracket back and do a wisdom tooth again. You'll see how she's doing that. She's moving this back. Sometime if you don't show the tooth, I cheat and use a cotton roll and have them bite on a cotton roll. And where are you putting that cotton roll? On the bracket. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bite down there, bow. Hold it. That just keeps it, stabilizes it, keeps it from moving. Okay. Okay, good. Now, but you can see this is overlapped right here, but we're not worried about in that in this radiograph. If you look at the interproximal contacts between every tooth, in every radiograph, all the interproximal contacts will not be straight through. Some of them will probably be overlapped, but you want at least one radiograph, bite wing or periapical, of every interproximal contact that's straight through. I'm more concerned if the wisdom tooth is present. So in a perfect world, you have two radiographs that have perfect interproximal contacts of every interproximal area, but you want at least one, bite wing or PA. There, bite. So I've got a little overlapping, but I've got it, I can see the contact on the yeah, bicuspid. With the PAs, the main thing we're after are the apexes of the teeth, the apices of the teeth. Teeth and bite down bow. And see if he bites down and it turns a little bit. Again, the cotton roll. Between the teeth and the holder. That's a, hot, that's a great hot tip. Bite down, Bo. Good. Yep, see, we can see the apex, apices of each of those teeth. And this contact is open. You're not going to get them all in every radiograph. Now I'm doing the wisdom tooth again, so I'm having to move my bracket back again. Just relax your tongue. Hold it. Take that deep breath and hold it. Let it out real slow through your nose. Perfect. And just for luck, we have a perfect interproximal contact shot right there. Okay, our two molars. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna do the bicuspid area. Bite down. And I've come forward with the as far as I could come with the bracket. And then you've moved Okay, open both the sensor. Yeah, that looks good. See we've got the apices of the teeth right here, so you can see if there's an abscess or granuloma. On the anterior uppers, I always use a cotton roll because I want the incisal edges. Bite down, bow. Bite down. Don't bite real hard, just enough to hold that in place. 
Yeah, we can see the apex. So as long as on some radiograph, bite wing, RPA, you've got interproximal of the cuspid and the bicuspid and the cuspid and the lateral, you're good. A lot of times if I try to get the cuspid, I try to get it in the bite wing to break the contact yeah. as, coming for, as far forward as I can. Bite down. Perfect. See the apex, the interproximal. Bite down. Okay, so there's the cuspid. You can see the apex. Broke the contacts between the cuspid and the lateral. You can't get, a, get all the interproximal contacts. The distal of the cuspid and the bite wing. Yeah, you'll be sure to get that in the bite wing. For the record, I had my vaccine a couple months ago. If I wear that mask, you can't hear in the microphone. Great. So you can see the apex. Remember the PAs, the most significant thing is you can see the apices of the teeth. And if you can get the interproximals, you want them in some, in one of the radiographs, at least one. Okay, perfect. The lower anterior are usually the easiest. Perfect. Apices, got them. Broke that interproximal contact. This one's a little overlapped, but what are you going to do? Yep, yeah, you got to get a different holder now. The horizontal goes this way, the vertical goes this way. This is anterior, the blue is anterior, the yellow is posterior, and the red is bite wing. If I'm just doing seven bite wings, I just do that anterior. I don't do the horizontal, I mean, the, in the front. We're going to parallel the bracket with this. And bow, don't bite down yet. Let me look, see what I have. Sometimes the barrier tends to block your view, so you have to kind of pull it back. And you want to put it away from the tooth. Bite down, bow. Bite all the way down. Hold it. The bite wings, the objective is to break the contact so you can have a clear view of the interproximal contacts to diagnose the interproximal decay. All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. That one's decent. Yeah, that's good. First. Remember which one. Look at the rest of them and just be sure when you get to the end, you have at least one radiograph of every interproximal that has a clean view that's not overlapped. Ooh, perfect. And that's the real goal with PAs. You want to see the apices of the teeth. And if you can get the interproximal, that's good. But with bite wings, the objective of bite wing radiographs is you want to see clean interproximal contacts with no overlap so you can diagnose interproximal decay. Perfect. See, we're straight through. There's no overlap at all on any of those interproximal contacts. See, so when you get to the end, look at these radiographs and see if you're, you've got a clear view of an unoverlapped interproximal contact between every tooth. And you can see this one's a little overlapped, but we're perfect right here. Yeah, he's a little more shallow up front, so it's a little more difficult to get that by cuspid, by Dumbo. Maybe. Okay. Got it. Yeah. See, those are perfect. Yeah. That's great. What'd you do to get that? Just I moved it around? Turned it at an angle to come more closer forward. Okay. Our horizontal holder. Bite wing. wing. Okay. And then our vertical. And what's that? That's for vertical bite wings, mm -hmm. like the anterior? Yes. Can you take one of those uh -huh. and just show them how to do it? Yes. So this is if you want Let vertical bite wings in the anterior. Monitor here. Click vertical bite wings. And it walks you through. We've already taken the posterior, so we'll go to next. And we've already taken that one. And well, let's take this one. So it'll be five and six. Now this system we're using is the DEXA system. Yes. If a patient comes in for hygiene and we don't want to do a full mouth, we just want to do the vertical bite wings, we take the two posterior and then these are the, these will be the... I'm those will be the vertical. Vertical on right. the anterior and there's three of them. Let's take those three, why don't okay. we? Sure. This one is a five and six. 
bite down bow. Okay, good. Broke contact between the cuspid and the lateral. Then we're going to do 11 and 12. It's hard sometimes when they're narrow up front. Bite down bow. Hold it. Good. Cuspid and lateral on both of those, and cuspid and bicuspid on the bottom. Good. Now we're on the front teeth. And sometimes when they're narrow through here, you have to put it back further. Bite down bow all the way. Hold it right there. Now open just a hair. Bite. Okay, good. Perfect. Broke the interproximals. Yeah, those are great. Brianna, hop in here. Okay, so what did Pam teach you about taking radiographs? What were the parts that were tricky that she was able to show you how to do? Because now Brianna can take a fantastic full mass set of radiographs, and you've been here, what, two months? Mm -hmm. So what were the tricky parts to you about taking a full mass set of periapical radiographs? One of the things is if their gagger definitely spraying the numbing spray in their throat. It's just hurricane topical spray on the back of their throat and aspirate as you spray it. And okay. then another thing too is when you're doing wisdom teeth. She's came in here and I haven't been able to get them and she was able to show me that when you put it in the holder, if you can't get all the way back there, you take the sensor and move it halfway. Okay. And so you move the sensor because this will only go back so far. And so it'll get those teeth, even though you can't get the holder back there. And when do you normally use the cotton roll? On when, the upper. On the upper anterior. And what does the cotton roll do exactly? It breaks the contacts. It just makes it not move. Makes the sensor not move, right? Oh, and then she's also taught me how you can take the cotton rolls and you can get like the medical tape that we have if we're doing dentalist patients and build up as if there's teeth there and ah. you put them on here and you tape them around. Now what do you do? Just put one on the top or one on the top and one Two on the bottom? Two or three on the top. So if they don't have teeth or if they just have an upper, you know, upper teeth and not lower teeth and then you'll tape it around like this. tape over the cotton rolls and tape it to the center or the holder. Okay, then they've got something. Yes. Because if not, when they bite down, it's not, it moves. And you only have up. to put it on the top. Good. Okay. Say somebody's got a short and a very shallow palate and you put that radiograph in on the palate and it's seated like this and you take this PA and so it looks like that tooth is about that long. How do you make it longer? You put this in the center of the mouth and have them bite down, not all the way. In other words, you don't want that thing to be on the palate like this. You want it to be like this. So just put it toward the center of the palate and, and have the patient not bite down all the way. And then you can go straight through the tooth into well, the sensor. So if somebody right. wanted to get this exact system, yeah. Dexis. So if you say, I want the Dexis radiographic holder system, they're gonna send you this. The way that I remember how to set up the holders is when I come in here, I'm gonna set them like this and I'm gonna have the bar on the right side of every single one. When you're, you're taking PAs, it's gonna be the right upper two. You're gonna flip it into an X and you're gonna do the left lower two okay then we switch our holder and i'm going to take the metal and switch it over to the left side which is where it's supposed to be so now i can fix my circle and then do after we flip the holder we're going to do the upper left two and then we're going to flip it and do the lower right two okay that's when you go to the anterior teeth with the blue okay and you're going to start up on the top left side one two three then you don't do anything on this but flip the actual holder itself. One, two, three. And those are all periapicals. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go to the bite wings. So, and then when you go to the bite wings, you're going to go all the way back on the right side with the system that we use. And you'll do this bite wing and you'll come up and do the second bite wing. Okay. And when you
you flip it and you go to this side, you're going to start in front and then go to the back. Okay. So it's going to be like a circle here, 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 here. Okay. Then do you do anything in the front with that one? Okay. The front is just the, the front is just periapicals. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you know you use the straight one for the bite wings. See, this is straight through the middle. This is on the side. It has one here and here. And this is the same. And this is the same. So these two are the same. Yes. Okay, and uh -huh. this one's different. That is this is for different. bite wings. Bite wings. Only. And you have your little bracket metal holders. These are both anterior, posterior. The straight ones for bite wings only. We're going to do the upper right first. You're going to place it. It doesn't matter which hole you place it in. You always be able to be able to see your bracket through the hole. Okay. This is your hole that you're fitting your sensor on, so you want to be able to see. That's where your tooth is going to be, right there in the center of that. Okay, so these are going to be periapicals with this, Periapical. right? And so you know that this is the upper right because this has got to fit. If this is the mouth, this has got to fit inside the mouth. In the cheek. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. got to go that way. So just remember, if you're doing the upper right, once you got it set, don't reset it. Do go to the right lower right. left. And see, that's got to go in the mouth that way. Yes. Okay, now here's the trick. Getting it unset and getting the other side. You just take it out of here. And it goes in the other side here. Then all you have to do is just flip this around. Okay, then this, we'll do the upper left. see this has got to f fit your cheek, and then you flip it, lower right. mm -hmm. the lower right. So the part you're going to have to practice is taking this out and this off and getting them on. And I think the only way you can do it, so how did you learn how to do it? Just practice? Trial and error. Trial and error, <laughs> yeah. So just know that's going to take a little time. So these two go together. Yes. All right, then once you get to the... Anterior. Anterior. Yes. You got this different holder. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna use this for upper, upper anterior, anterior and lower. upper and lower, right and, and I left. Don't change the bracket for upper and lower anterior. I'll leave it the same. Now you can change it around if you want to. So if you do the upper right on this side, you could turn it. And do that this upper left this side. Okay, so this one is for posterior only periapicals. This is for upper and lower anterior PAs. You're going to put that in like that and like that. This holder is the same holder as the posterior periapicals. Got that? So this holder is the same holder. You're just changing this part. So this yellow one, you take all the posterior periapicals. This blue one, you take the anterior upper three and the anterior lower three. Okay. Then once you've got those, now we've got all of our periapicals with these two. Mm -hmm. now we're then we go to wings. bite wings with this red one. And you can see this thing is looks different. And you've got a different holder. This is just a straight holder. This is going to go this way mm -hmm. on the right side like this. Mm -hmm. Then when I go to the left side, it's going to flip it over this way. All right, so you don't have to change mm -hmm. this for bite wings. Bite wings, once you get this set, you don't have to change it again. 